Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and welcome back to another video in our series where we're building patches from scratch on the Volker FM. Now, in the last couple of videos, we've taken a look at pads, um, and today we are going to look at bass. FM is kind of well known for being killer at bass sound, so let's see what we can dig up. So here we are in Synthmata, my free browser-based editor for the Volker FM, and we're ready to get going with our patch. So we're going to start off the way that we always do, which is by picking out our algorithm. And today we're going to use algorithm 27. 27, interesting algorithm. Um, so we've got three carriers. Uh, the first carrier is operator one, and it has no modulators. So that is only ever going to be able to be a sine wave, but that's actually quite useful on a bass. Uh, so we'll come back to that in a second. Um, we've then got operator 2, uh, which is our second carrier, which has been modulated by operator 3, and operator 3 also has feedback as well, which we will definitely be making use of. Finally, we have operator 4, which is being modulated both by operators 5 and 6. So that's an opportunity where we can get a little bit more harmonic richness out of our sound. So, okay, let's get going. Uh, we'll, we'll treat each of these carriers kind of as its own voice. So we're going to start out by looking at operator two and three. So I'll just switch off all of those other operators there. Uh, so we've got to sound like this. Like that. So it's kind of reedy at the moment. Um, let's make sure that our carrier is up on full and we'll start with our modulator up on full as well. Got the uh, got the old random arpeggiator on there, so we're sounding a bit sort of like a Star Wars droid there. So um, what are we going to do here now? I want to keep things kind of bassy and cool. So one of the things we can do is set our course tuning for our modulator below below the tuning for operator two, which is currently set just at one. Cool. Uh, okay, so um, I want to make use of the feedback, I think, here as like a big part of the sound. So let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so we're getting buzzy. Almost like a fuzz bass. And that's kind of cool. That's This uh, this pairing of operators, I think, is where we're going to get like the character for our sound. And everything else is just going to kind of fatten things up a bit. Cool. Okay, let's detune, see how that sounds. Nice bit of richness around there. Still kind of getting this sort of farty sound happening. Um, no doubt pleasing to anyone with a Euro rack. I'm joking, of course. Um, so let's uh, get an envelope on that. So obviously we don't necessarily want that fart happening the whole time, but it's certainly an interesting start to the night. So let's try and set up a bit of a... Um, envelope here where we drop off quite quickly to a lower level. Okay, um, maybe the operator is set ever so slightly too high at the moment. Okay, and now maybe we're dropping off to too high, too low a level. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's interesting. Uh, let's just turn off the arpeggios quickly so that we can hear how that is actually sounding with a sustained note. I think maybe that initial attack is a bit too fast. We want to get a bit more character out of that. <laughs> quite weighty um, or maybe no maybe we keep that first attack quite quick and then we have a slower release down like that yeah now do we want that to actually hit zero probably not Still want to get some of that character happening. Yeah, it's too low. Yeah, 
Yeah, so still a little bit of rasp there, even when it's pretty much died away. Cool. Yes, that's okay. So that's 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 kind of the character of our sound. We've kind of got that fuzzy bass thing. Do we need to do anything with the um, operator here? I mean, we could probably try and get a little bit more punch by doing the similar trick here and just having a bit of a click at the start of the sound, maybe. So similar trick here. But after that, we probably want it to sustain at that same level. So 96, we want to set L3 to 96 as well. That um, is essentially our sustain. So it's not going to drop off. Cool. Okay. So there's the character of our sound. It's already pretty weighty, actually. Let's uh, let's get um, a bit more sort of um, stability to that bottom end there. And this is what Operator 1 is going to be so great at. So Operator 1 is just a carrier sat on its own. It's just a sine wave. And that, of course, is where we can get a bunch of bottom end. So, so there it is, sat in a higher tuning. But let's drop that tuning all the way down. Okay, so let's compare that with out. And with. You just hear that extra weight there. Now, it feels like it's attacking a little bit too hard, so I'm just going to soften that attack because it's so low at the moment. God, there's so much bottom end there. <laughs> Almost too much. Almost. There's never too much bottom end. Okay, uh, right. So that gives us our character and our weight. So now um, we want to fill out the body of our sound, and that's where um, Operator 4 is going to come in with its associated uh, modulators, Operator 5 and 6. So um, that's immediately. Actually, let's set this uh, little sequence going so I don't have to keep reaching back and playing notes. Okay, so um, let's see what we can do here. So um, at the moment it's tuned a bit higher than the rest of our sound, but perhaps that's a good thing. Mm. Yeah, let's let's have it tuned ever so slightly higher. We might turn it down a little bit. Let's turn off um, our other two carriers a second so we can hear this on its own. Okay, so here we have two modulators currently set at two and one. So I want them set differently, I think. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, probably not what we want. So at the moment, the operator output levels for these two operators are lower, but that's probably fine because there's two running into a single uh, carrier. Uh, we don't want to overwhelm things. That's kind of mean in a good way. Okay, yeah, I like that. So that's with um, one of our modulators set at four and one of them set at one. Let's get some detune in there. Yes. Immediately. Yes. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, so similarly to our other uh, modulators, I want to, don't want these to be quite as static and I want them to have a bit of a wob, wob, wob at the start of the sound. So let's uh, adjust some of our... Uh, envelope here so similar sort of ideas we've already got on the other ones we might even get some is that cool i think that's pretty cool okay let's hear that with the other part of the sound I 
Let's have a drop my interface so you can sit down. Yeah, I don't think we need that that wob. I think we we want we want force at the start of our notes. Okay, so let's uh, get some of that instead. So similar tricks we've got in in our other envelopes here. Now at the moment they're dropping down to zero. Don't think it needs to go to zero. Now I think now we have everything else in. Operator two is too much fartastic action going on. So let's just go back there and just tame it just a little bit. So it might just be that we need to drop the uh, feedback down a bit. Then we can bring the volume back up. Maybe we can soften that attack a little bit. I mean, I guess the other thing is that we're going to apply velocity to that, so maybe we'll we'll see how it sounds when we've got a bit of velocity happening. So everything back in. Now you might need to listen to this on on proper headphones or on studio monitors because there's a lot of bottom end information happening there at the moment. Yeah, still, still, maybe too much fartiness happening there, or maybe it's dropping off too slow so we can't really hear the effect. The other thing that might need to be addressed, if we just go back to that. No, I like it again now. I think maybe the, the issue here is that we need to probably bounce everything off a little bit. So at the moment, I think Operator 4 is probably giving us too much information about what our sound is about, and I really want it to be about Operator 2. So let's just bring the volume down a tiny bit there. I don't want it to feel like it's in the background though. So it's PE sort of integral to the sound. Okay, yeah, somewhere around there. Okay, right, so let's get some um, velocity happening in here. So uh, obviously one of the key bits of velocity information is gonna be on our fizzy fuzzy situation here. So let's give that a bit of velocity sense. Let's try it. Okay, let's put it off. And then fading up. Okay, so I found a point about two thirds of the way up there where I felt like it's super balanced. So let's just lower the output so we can get that more like that when it's at full. Yeah, like that. So bottom, and then all the way to the top. So similar sort of idea, I think, probably here with our modulators that are going into operator four. Maybe it doesn't need to be quite as extreme. So I'll just give them one of each. Okay, now this has got a really interesting So that's, that's at the bottom. And then as we fade up, we start to get that. So I wonder 
if we could give Operator 5, which is the one that's tuned higher, more of a journey, so we don't get it quite as, uh, as uh, early. So that's with it quite low. That's with it full. Oh, I really like it with it low down like that, that's why it's nice. Okay, I'm going to try turning on operator key sync. Um, what that does in, in, in theory is um, restarts the operator every time you start uh, a new note. So sometimes it brings a more coherence to the sound. So that's with it off. It's not too much difference. Ever so slightly prefer with on. I think the bottom notes seem more together. That's a great bass <laughs> with it with the velocity way down. So I guess this this shows you that sometimes it's it's better to be subtle with your output levels. So that's barely tickling the uh, modulators. Let's see what it sounds like with Operator 2 up an octave. Okay, so I've left Operator 2 where it was, but I've turned up Operator 3, which is kind of our fart operator. I think that makes more sense sonically now. Feels more together. Cool sound. Okay, so let's, um, let's just check that over uh, a bit more of the range of the keyboard. Oh, hello. Is this one of those bass sounds that also sounds great up, up at the top as well? Yeah. Okay, so... Feels pretty balanced, to be fair. Let's go even higher. Okay, so right at the top there, things are getting a bit weird, but honestly, I don't think we're ever going to play it that high. So don't think we need to look at the operator scaling in this case. Uh, so what else can we look at? Okay, so pitch envelope. Don't see that this is going to benefit from any of that. And LFO, LFO, LFO. Do we want... Any movement happening there. Do you know what? I don't think we need anything in the LFO as well. I think this is one of those times where discretion is the better part of valor. Um, yeah, I don't think we need any sort of wobble. Uh, let's just find out what sounds like with a bit pitch part. Okay, I can't help myself. doing anything interesting. Yeah, no, doesn't need it. So let's turn it off. Cool, in which case... I think we'll call that a patch. That's cool. Uh, it also sounds surprisingly cool in the upper registers. Like,
like that wasn't expected to sound that interesting up there. So although I'm going to call this a bass, bass patch, I think this is probably an all-purpose electro patch. Um, so I'm going to call this bass one. There we go. And I'm going to create a shareable patch link so that I can share this patch with you in the description of this video uh, so you can check it out and play with the uh, sound as you wish. And I'm just sorry, I don't forget, I'm also going to save it quickly. Right, cool. Well, I hope that was interesting and useful, and I hope you like the sound that we've ended up with there in this patch. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it the thumbs up, and also make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos on the Evolker FM and synthesis in general. So this will be the last video that I post until after Christmas, so if you uh, celebrate Christmas, or even if you don't, do have a wonderful festive period and I hope if Santa does visit your house that he brings you all of the synthy goodness that you could possibly hope for. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.